Okay, we're going to go ahead and look at the general navigation within Skyward. Ideally, what I'm going to do for the navigation, though, is just look at the teacher access from within my gradebook. When you click on teacher access, you're going to have probably four options. My gradebook, my students, my classes, and post daily attendance. The rest of this stuff more than likely won't be there. But if we go into my gradebook, see that you should see all of your, your classes here on this page. You also can go right here to get reports for all classes. We'll talk about those in another video. And we can go to the posting status for the different parts of the six, each of the six weeks or grading periods. What I want to do today, though, is just look at the My Gradebook. So I clicked on the blue underlined hyperlink. And we're just going to discuss what we have along these options here at the top. Under Other Access, that's going to be where you can get into your message center, your discipline. So if you wanted to enter in a discipline report, if you wanted to use the message center to send something out, under classes, that's a quick way to get back and forth between different classes. Again, I only have one class, but most of you will be able to click on each of your classes directly from there. To enter an assignment, you can go here to add assignments, or you can go to a list of assignments. You can go to your attendance from here, or you can go straight from your teacher access up here uh, to attendance, which would be the easiest thing. There is also a mobile web app uh, that you can get for an iPhone, an iPad, or any Android phone. If you're taking attendance because of the logout issues where Skyward will log you out within 30 minutes, it's quicker and, and easier to get into that to take attendance. So that's one recommendation if you're looking at attendance. Categories is not really a big issue in Sulphur Springs because the district has mandated what the categories will be, so you don't really need to worry about that. Grade marks, for the most part, you're not going to have as an issue unless you teach a pass-fail course or something a little bit different. Reports, this is where you're going to go to run any of your general reports, and I'll do another video that will explain uh, what each of those reports does. You have your charts, if you want to look at student grade distributions, things like that. Your display options, this is where you're going to go if you want to change what you see, especially within this gradebook uh, look. You're going to go in here so that you can hide uh, or remove certain items within this list. Quick scoring, a lot of you are going to like quick scoring, as you can go in there and enter a bunch of grades all at once. Uh, so if you have four or five grades and you've already got those written down, that would be a place where you could go uh, and look around. You also have assignments that are going to show up. Within those assignments, you can click on any of those assignments in the header and pull up what you need to see here so that you can go ahead and enter in whatever information you want to enter. You can always use the back button within Skyward to get where you need to go. There's one right here on the upper right, and this button over here also serves as a back button that you can use if you want to get back somewhere. The other thing you're going to notice here is several columns. The blue columns are columns that you have no control over. Uh, PR1 is going to be your progress report 1. So that's your first six weeks, three week grade. Your progress report for the first six weeks. Citizenship would be your, your first six weeks citizenship grade. Um, and then the first is the first six weeks grades. Now again, PR2 would be the progress report or the three week mark of the second six weeks and you can go on down the list here. So EX1 would be the semester exam for first semester, and then semester grade number one, or the first semester grade would go right here. So that's what shows up in all of this. Now, some of you are going to get confused a little bit, uh, not knowing exactly where you are, where you're supposed to look for the overall averages. This drop-down menu right here, which will always be pinned to the left, uh, or is the first column in your grade book, you can adjust that and go to any grading period that you want to see the grade for. So as you go along, now that it's the second six weeks, we might want to click that to second, and we'd be able to see what the calculated average is, and this would change as we enter different grades into the grade book. We can also go at the end of the year or at the end of the semester to look at semester one, semester two, or a final overall end of year grade uh, for that student. That's just a quick overview of what's available in the main screen within Gradebook. Again, we got to that main screen by clicking in Teacher Access, My Gradebook, and then we click on the blue hyperlink for that specific class. Once we're there, we're able to see exactly what we need to see, and we have all the options to move within our gradebook.